Question 3.2, South Africa's unemployment rate increased from 34.4 in quarter two um, to 34.9 in quarter three of 2021. So we, again, they um, are working with quarters. So we've got quarter two and then we've got um, quarter three as well. The number of unemployed people in quarter two was 7.6 million, which is 183,000 less than quarter three. Whole lot of grammar. Don't worry about that. Come back and read it again. The graph determines, I mean, the graph below indicates the unemployment rate for the different genders and the total for South Africa for the first three quarters of 2021. So we've got quarter two and we've got quarter three. All of this is 2021. Unemployment rate for the first three quarters, okay? Quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. I, okay, let me not try and invent my own questions, but then just for you to be careful yet again, this is a bar graph, but in this particular case, my bar graph has now been turned around. So the, 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 the bar graph has now been, it's not, it's no longer just a multiple bar graph. Okay, so it's not the normal. How do I know that? Space, 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 space. I have to have my spaces in between. And then I know the dotted one is RSA. Um, and then I know um, in terms of um, RSA is the Republic of South Africa. And then the lines are women. And then the solid um, bar is for men. Then I've got my percentages. Use the information above to answer the questions that follow. Write down the quarter which showed the highest rate of unemployed men. Let's go and see. Men are the solid. Men are solid. Okay. There. Men are solid. Okay. So let's go and look at the highest solid. The highest solid is that one. So it's going to be quarter three. Um, let me just see if I'm writing my quota correctly. Yeah, it's correct. Two marks, run away with your two marks. Calculate the number of unemployed people um, in quarter three. Calculate the number of unemployed people in quarter three. So in order for us to do that, it means that we are going to be adding our numbers together. So quarter three, um, the unemployed number of people. First things first, it's very important um, for us to read the information above first to see if we do not need to do additional calculations. Okay, so it then says to us here, the number of unemployed people in quarter two was 7.6 million. Okay, which is less um which is less 183,000 less than in quarter three so we know already that quarter three had 183,000 more people than this meaning we are simply adding we are simply adding okay the moment you see less and more you know what we are going to be working in terms of subtraction and addition. So calculate the number of unemployed people in quarter three. So we've been told quarter three is 7,6 million plus 183,000. We know that, okay. But we cannot add these two numbers together as they are. So I would advise you to convert this first so it's a number that's already looking like that. So 7,6 million, we know is 7,600,000. Also know how to convert when it comes to commas because it's very common for you to get something like this in your exam. And then you are stuck there and you do not know what to do. If you're given like a number in billions, for instance, okay, 
Seven, seven million six hundred thousand one two three plus one hundred and eighty three thousand one two three okay that's going to give you seven million seven hundred and eighty three thousand seven million seven hundred and eighty three thousand okay that is exactly how you do that question. Three marks. Run with your three marks. Determine the increase in percentage of unemployed. There we go again. Increase. Very important question. You are calculating percentage increase. And I told you that percentage increase has a certain formula. But let's, we're not sure we're going to use this formula now. Ne? Determine the increase in percentage of unemployed women from quarter one. Um, to quarter three. So we want to see the percentage. Let's go see. Quarter one and quarter three. So we're using quarter one and we are using quarter three. Let me see if I can use a different color. We're using quarter three and quarter one and we want um, the difference of the women. Whenever you do something like this, you automatically know that you are going to subtract. Women are the lines. So these are, these are the women. Women uh, are the lines. They're women are the lines. And then, again, women are the lines over there. So we're comparing that number to that number. Okay, so the, we want the percentage increase there. If we do something like this, this 34 is very visible here. Very, very, very visible here. However, that other one has a number which is quite in between which is that one that i am speaking of and that number that is in between means that we are going to have a comma and the the trick between having a comma um is that you are given an allowance of interval so for instance if this is 36 and that's 38 it means um that we would have in the middle something like 37 over there okay 37 percent and if that is 37 percent we need to then go and determine what exactly is going on um in terms of our um so i'm going to choose 37 comma 3 and i'll tell you why i'm going to choose 37 comma 3 so 37,3% minus um, 34%. And I'll tell you why I used that number just now. 37,3 minus 34 is 3,3%. Okay, so whenever we have um, a figure and it's not very clear where the numbers fall, it's very important for us to know that there's an interval that has been given in the memo. So the memo will say that it falls between this number and this number. However, your number is not allowed to be too far off. Okay, so if someone else has 37,2, and you have 37,3, and someone else has 37,4, those numbers are not too far from each other. It becomes a problem if you're going to end up with 37,7, because that is too far off. So there's a leeway in terms of, oh, this bar is in between, so it could fall onto comma 4, or it could fall onto comma 3. So that's the reason um, for that. The unemployment rate for quarter two is 34,4. So now we are given um, an exact figure. And the reason why we are now given an exact figure is because we need to get the same answer, basically. Determine the number of people employed in South Africa during quarter two. That's just a question of 
unemployment versus employment is equal to 100%. And if it's equal to 100%, um, then we need to be able to determine those numbers as they are. So what I could do, okay, is that I know that unemployed plus employed needs to give me 100%. That's what I know, okay? So I need to know those two. Meaning, if I'm asked for employed people and it's not given on the graph, I say 100% minus 34,4 is going to give me the percentage of employed people. So 100% minus 34,4 gives me the percentage of employed people, which is 65,6%. So now I know um, that that's the number that I'm going to be working with in terms of that. I know that the number of employed people in South Africa is going to be 65,6%. Uh, so it's going to be that number, which is 65 comma six percent all over the number of people who are not employed and whenever you are asked to give a number but you've been given percentages there has to be a full number somewhere and our full number that we are working with is the full number of unemployed people okay so we've been given the number of unemployed people in quarter two but we've not been given the number of employed people so we know that 100% has not been given. We've only been given 34,4%. So that represents 34, sorry, it represents 34,4%. And remember, there's going to be many ways that you can do this as well, okay? So then I need to take this number and I need to go and multiply it. There's, a, there's so many ways that I can think of doing just this one question um, as it is. So that's 7 million, um, 600,000. So many ways just to do that one question. So I'm going to use my fraction, 65, 6, all over 34, 4. And I'm going to multiply it by the number of unemployed people. Um, 600,000, 600,000, which is 14 million, um, 493,023, comma 26. Remember when I told you about commas, I'm going to write my answer exactly as it is. Remember, I'm going to just write it below it because it's such a huge number. So remember what I said about writing human beings as commas, ne? That simply means that somewhere, somehow, I'm going to either round down or round up. And I know with you being in matric, rounding up and rounding down should not be a foreign concept. Comma 26. We cannot have a comma of a person. So we need to round this number down. So that's going to be 14 million, 493,023. Look at how I am calling out my numbers. Okay, so just remember when it comes to that particular question, that's how we're going to do it. That was question three of the 2022 November paper that the Matrix wrote last year.